Hello there, my patients, and welcome to this new YouTube video. Um, imagine. Thank you very much for the follow. <laughs> welcome, and everybody. Um, I hope you have a fantastic day so far. And people are asking me, what do you think? I mean, what do you think about the new chapter and all that stuff? And I didn't have the time. I couldn't do or stream the PDB. So yeah, I'm, I want to do a little summary, or not really a summary, but I want to give out my opinion about the new chapter, Tools of Torment. So yeah, um, <laughs> don't worry, don't worry. It's, uh, yeah, so uh, I would say we are going to switch over to the screen to show off <laughs> the new killer, uh, the Skull Merchant. Wait, let's, let's not, that's not the Skull Merchant, Herman. That's not the Skull Merchant. We're going to take that one. I think it's better. Ah, see? Well, you know, first first time that I do this. So we're going to... Um, we have to improve. So yeah, now it's time, chat, to say hello, YouTube. Um, and yeah. Well, this is the Skull Merchant. I have to say, I when I saw her, you know... I was straight falling into love. She looks, in my opinion, she's a pretty person. And good old Herman, you know, is just only a man as well. <laughs> Look, I haven't heard of this YouTube. Very good, Cozy. So yeah, um, Skull Merchant. Um, well, on Twitter and on social media, and even on the forums, this... Chapter is going to get a lot of heat, to be honest. And for many reasons, I have to admit, you know. Um, because the teaser promised some stuff. And I think the people had high expectations about it. And sadly, yeah, the, the, the devs didn't really deliver. Let's be honest. Um, let's just start with the fact that the name of the killer itself, you know. The Skull Merchant. It's like... It's called in German the Schädelhändler. So you're going to... Something with with skulls itself. Yes, her drones. Her ability has skulls on it. Yes, okay. But that's it. There's nothing be... Which, which is going to say... She's a merchant or something like that, you know? That's what I... First, that the name doesn't fit. If you would call her the technician as an example, you know... The Technikerin in German. It's like, yeah. It would make more sense. You know, she's she's she plays around with her tools, build up the drones in her lore and that stuff. Um but yeah, the first the name doesn't fit. Um second the ability is like very tricky. <laughs> not not tricky itself, it's lame. Let's be honest, she's a base M1 killer. And with 4.6 meters and a 32 meter uh, range, uh, terror radius, so actually pretty average. Typical M1 killer, not really, doesn't have a chase ability. The drones, okay, the drones, when they are activated in survivors, it takes a couple of seconds, you know, until the drone is really activated and spread out its its radius. Um, very tricky, uh, well, it, it, it takes too long. It, first of all, it takes way too long, in my opinion. Otherwise, it takes also 10 seconds until they are exposed, you know? So it's, uh, it's it takes a couple of seconds until also the, the, the Skull Merchant is going to become oblivious. Um, undetectable, undetectable. Oblivious was the survivor side. Um, also, it takes a couple of seconds. You don't really get... It's pretty much the counterplay is like against the knight. The knight does so much does so much things better than the Skull Merchant. You know, you see, as a survivor, the Skull Merchant is going to set up a drone. You just leave the area. And even before, if you are full life, and even before you're going to be exposed, you're going to eat the M1 hit because she's not she's not a threat at all. You know, so the, the ability is very... Eh. Let's be honest. It's very... Eh, meh. You know, um... The Mori chat. The Mori is basically 
Freddy 2.0. There is not really much uh, which is going on over there. You know, basically, she stands behind the survivor. And the drone, drone is flying around. And she's going to stab her from, from the back. Well, if you, you had... We had this, we are in the seventh year of DVD. We had the Dredge, which had an outstanding great Mori. We had Wesker, which was hilarious when the survivor is fighting back and he's losing his glasses. <laughs> and... Uh, we had the Unite, which they are kind of bullied the survivor, and it was super brutal. And then we have the Skull Merchant, like, yeah, I'm gonna stab you. It's as boring as Freddy, it is, it's as boring as Pig, you know, and god damn it, we are, we are in the year 2023. We are almost in the, in the eighth year of DVD, you know, and they come up with that. It's... Mm. Especially, you know, in her lore... Or, in the shelter woods, which are we going to take a look uh, later on? On the new shelter woods, um, there are mannequins and which are sliced up, you know. Just a way more interesting thing would be, or Mori would be, just slice them, run around them, slice them on the back, you know, go insane, go berserk, but instead of fucking stabbing you in the back, it's like, eh. Uh. Moin Arnold, wie geht's dir? Um. Well, ability bad. The name does not fit. She's pretty, yes. Um, the add-ons are quite okay, you know. Um, I want to show you the new um, Shelter Woods map. So let's add some bots very quickly. And Corrupt Intervention, so they are not going to do the gens too fast. And Deadlock. And let's go to the new Shelter Woods. One of the few good things I actually like about. Ganz alright, und und hier nimm gerade ein YouTube Video auf. Imagine. <laughs> so let's get this madness started here. Your body is lacking. Imagine. Yeah, maybe I I have the PC settings on ultra. I have the PC settings on ultra. Um. So yeah. I have to change that. should pull a uh, drone out and the drone grabs her head and snaps their neck i personally think yes you cannot do this too brutal that's the thing you know because they have to release the game in every country on this planet so yeah there are some st restrictions because especially as me as a german you know i know how tough it can be you know so yeah, um, basically Skull Merchant, you know, they changed the Shelter Woods map completely, or not completely, but uh, you have the freaking big tree here. There we go, there's the big tree, there is the shack, and then they added basically the Skull Merchant's base here, which is actually not that bad. By the way, playing with the mouse and keyboard, imagine! <laughs> so yeah, um, it really fits to the lore, to be honest. Now we have here the mannequins, you know, which she was basically practicing her skills um yeah again i don't really mind this i was running around with doctor and sanction tactics and yeah it's all right it's all right not that bad to be honest it's just a nice little addition and it's i think it looks cool in my opinion you know also the the room the main room here who knows what's going on here anyway yeah shelter woods looks that main part is really nice to have, you know. So yeah, I don't really mind that one, that cha these changes. Imagine. All right. So yeah. Also, what they have changed is uh, or are some other maps like a Temple of Purgation and Mother's Dwelling. So in case you were hoping, Mother's Dwelling, you know, one of the most hated killer maps on this on this game. You know, in case you were hoping that with the rework, well, well let's say the kind of rework, you know, um, it's going to change something. No. Sadly, not. Sadly, not. Let me tell you something right away. 
Mala's dwelling looks absolutely pretty. It is beautiful, without a doubt. We're going to see that, you know. But the gameplay problems, which is basic, let's be honest. Mother's Dwelling is not really known for overpowered loops and tied together tiles like Garden, you know, or Eerie of Crows. No, it's the fucking size of the map, which makes... Don't swear on YouTube, right? Anyway, it's too fucking big. You know, um, that's why people or the killer were complaining about the map, you know. You have, especially as a regular M1, you know, imagine you're a death slinger or a trickster who doesn't have mobility at all. You know, you have to travel for, from one point to another, you know, which is meaningless. And as you already can see, you know, with the auras of the generators, the size of the map hasn't changed at all. So it's... Again, let, let me try this a little bit more. Make this more prettier for you guys. Even that uh, the avatar is going to lag around a little bit. Yeah. But uh, let me just... Yeah. But it looks fantastic. It looks absolutely pretty. It's got... To be honest, it's going to be even worse for killers to spot survivors now. Because of there are so many trees, you know, there's so, there are so many spots. <clears throat> Voice is going to be correct again. Sorry, there are so many spots to hide, you know. But god damn it, I give slowly but surely I will give up my any hopes that the DVD map designers are going to know or going to. I would not say know how to balance stuff you know but yeah uh, yes let's say it like that you know let me just um put it on low again um i really give up my hopes that they know how to balance maps fairly you know um head and field was kind of fairly yes uh even with the strong houses but the size of the map is fine then we got the eerie rework which is Still, tile connected to a tile connected to a tile. You know, it's not really like, yeah, it's brutal. But again, hey, they know how to make pretty maps, right? So yeah, Mother's Dwelling, absolute. If you really want to have something great for your eyes, go to Mother's Dwelling. It fits perfectly. It fits per perfectly to the lore of the, uh, of the Huntress. You know, same goes for Temple of Purgation. But god damn it. This is what we really makes or makes me mad. You know. Let's be honest. They they made RPD verse. They made well eerie they made eerie of cross smaller, yes. But still it's a pain to play on. Garden of J uh, of Joy is a pain to play on. I think the last well-designed map when it comes to balancing was Dead Dog Saloon. And when was that? Or may not maybe Dead Dog, maybe Midwitch, you know? Midwitch was afterwards. So it's almost three years ago. That was the last fairly balanced map in general, you know? So yeah. Um... So much for for Mother's Dwelling. I don't think we ha don't have to take a look on uh, Temple of Purgation. Looks pretty much the same. It looks pretty, but again, um, many many trees, a lot of survivor spots. I don't want to complain about survivor being OP or something like that. No, but it's like you know, balancing wise for all that stuff, it's incredibly brutal. So yeah. Um, we also have some survival stuff. Imagine, I, who cares about survivors, right? Yeah, just a few one. Hadn't field you mean uh, the map with only four lockers? Yeah, but uh, again, the houses are pretty strong on Hadden Field. But you know, in comparison, you have a freaking um, uh, small map, you know? So we have the new survivors. Um, there is one times Pinato. 
Well, as a doctor, I can say you should uh, stand my war straight. You know? But anyway. Um, let's go. You know, Blood Rush is actually a really good perk. You know, but... It's, to be honest, with the Sprint Burst, it gives you double Sprint Burst at the end when you're on Death Hook. But on the other side, you know, it, it can be annoying. Yes. Um, teamwork is trash. You know, background player. Hey, Sandy, thank you very much for the follow. Um, it's also not so good. In general, you know, only that, that Blood Rush thing is, is nice, to be honest, on the, from his side. Um, where's the other survivor? Survivor? There you go. Talita is the name, okay. Um, friendly competition is... Eh. Teamwork power of two is also not so good. Cut loose is also... It's actually, cut loose is an iceberg. It basically gives you uh, quick and quiet in between six seconds. You know, if you're going to make many, many fast walls... Um, in a row, you can re really benefit from that perk, you know. So it's not that bad. But um, but to be honest, I'm a killer main. Let's say, how much value do we get from all the new perks on a doctor? Because, well, let's be honest, I'm a doctor main. So yeah, we have the perk Thwack. I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm not an English native tongue, so I'm sorry. Um, after hooking a survivor, the next break will wall or pellet will break. Will you make survivors within uh, 32 meters scream and reveal the aura for 4 seconds? I have static blast. Thank you. <laughs> Leverage. Each time you hook a survivor, gain 1 token up to 10. When you hook a survivor, this perk activates for each token, reduce the speed at which survivors heal by 5% for 30 seconds, which is not bad. You know, it's not that too bad, but... You have, in comparison, you have Sloppy Butcher, you know, or you have Dying Light, you know. And I think those perks are way better to play than Leverage. And Game of Foot, damaging generators and breaking walls or pellets give you a 5% haste status for 10 seconds. And every the survivor you chase the longest is going to become the obsession. No, because I personally, I like to play Save the Best on Doctor. It's very helpful and... You, Sometimes you have to commit longer a little bit. So yeah. Not really helpful at all. So yeah. Um, I think from a doctor perspective. Perks are not really helpful. I don't really mind the changes of shelter woods. I actually like it to be honest. It fits perfectly to the lore of. Um, or to the character. Of the skull merchant. Skull merchant. The only good thing is how she walks and how she looks like you have to really you have to break it down to that point let's be honest um yeah <laughs> well and we have the map changes and the eruption nerf of course but it is time to eruption nerf was necessary so yeah it is um disappointed very disappointing especially what they have given us to the last uh, to the last uh, chapters, you know, over the last DVD year. So, yeah, um, well, basically, year six, or yes, yeah, basically, year six is over, you know, or um, for DVD. And let's be honest, Wesker and Dredge were definitely the highlights. Um, Knight was okay ish. He's, he's, he's good, nice to play. He's fun to play, um, especially after his buffs. Um, Skull Merchant is going to be. Yeah oof very oof you know i will try to play her i will try to have fun with her um and i will enjoy her looks otherwise it's going to be a tough one so yeah i'm not gonna make a, a, a win streak with her <laughs> so yeah again I, also which what what really pissed me off is the name of skull merchant it has nothing to do with that you know, just call her technician or something in that direction. Because, well, when I think about a skull merchant or in merchant, I th think about the, the merchant in Resident Evil, you know, uh, or something like that, you know, or just in case character design. I don't really mind that character design, but goddammit, just remove her human 
humanized arm, you know, and make her into half of a cyborg. How about that? You know, just take cyberpunk as an inspiration, you know, something like this. You know, if you have mantis blades like in cyberpunk, fucking remove her human arm and add this piece just to into her arm. But maybe we get this as an alternative skin uh, when the chapter is going to be come, uh, going to be out. So yeah, it was my little thing, you know, about the upcoming chapter. Um, of course, I'm gonna buy it because I want to support the devs. But and I will try to get, uh, I will try to have fun with the killer. Besides her looks, you know. So yeah, uh, thank you very much, everybody, uh, for giving me your attention. Um, really appreciate you all. Uh, we're already re uh, on the Friday right now, so um, I wish you all a nice Friday. And uh, thank you very much for watching that video. Take care, and i see you next one. Bye-bye.